Hi guys, changing the subject of a formula, we're going to look at question 5 and 6 from the revision task. So again, bod mass brackets of divide, multiply, add, subtract, that's the order that we do things in. So here we've got v equals 3 times the square root of f plus t. So what are we doing to f? We're square rooting it first, because it's powers of first or indices first, and then multiplying by 3, then we're adding on t. So that is the three mathematical operations that we are performing on f there. So we need to undo those three operations and undo them in reverse order. So whatever we've done last, we need to undo first of all. So we added on t last, so I'm going to subtract t from both sides. t minus t here is 0, so I'm left with v minus t equals 3 root f. Remember, whatever we do to one side of the equal sign, we must do exactly the same to the other. Now... I want to undo multiplying by 3, so I want to divide both sides by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is just 1, so I'm left with 1 times the square root of f, or just the square root of f is v minus t divided by 3. What's left to do is to find the inverse of the square root of f, or to undo square rooting f. So the inverse of a square root is a square, so I need to square both sides. If I square root the square root of f, I just get f. I need to square all of this. Now I'll just leave that like that. We need to multiply it out. I'll just leave it like that. That's a suitable format. Question number six. What we're doing on number six. So we need to make p the subject. I have l equals the square root of 4k minus p. So first of all, I'm really multiplying p by negative 1 then adding on 4k, and then I'm square rooting everything. So again, we need to undo things in that order. So I'm going to undo the square root first. So I'm going to square both sides. Now normally, I'd deal with the 4k next, but what I'm thinking is, I want to make p the subject, not minus p. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to add p to both sides at this point. So if we actually undo subtracting 4k, uh, sorry, if we undo adding 4k by subtracting 4k from both sides, it would still work, we'd still get the same answer, okay? But if I can get, a, if I can avoid ending up with minus p at the end, it just works out so much nicer. Okay, so that's why I've chosen to do that step there. So minus p plus p is zero. So we're left with l squared plus p equals 4k. And then I just need to subtract L squared from both sides. So subtracting L squared from this side just leaves me with P. And I'll have 4K minus L squared on the right-hand side of the equation there. Okay. So changing the subject, reasonably tricky, guys. So it's not exactly the same every time. But if we can think of it as, what are we doing? So one or two of you might be thinking... I had a square root there and a square root there, what's going on? On this one, we're square rooting all of 4k minus p. So I needed to do k multiplied by 4 minus p to get all of this before square rooting, which is why the square root's the last thing we've done. On this one, we're square rooting f, then multiplying by 3, then adding on t, which is why the square root was at the front. 